6, the owner of an Atlanta booting company admits his warning signs do not follow the law. Now the city council member who wrote that law wants to know why no one's doing anything about it. Channel 2's consumer investigator Jim Strickland says it affects everyone who parks in downtown Atlanta. What the hell I'm doing being booted and I don't pay? It don't make sense. Booted drivers with a beef like Damari Webb are supposed to learn from the warning signs who exactly owns the parking lot. These signs at 10th and Juniper list the parking contractor, not the landowner. The booting company admitted it in a court deposition. And you agree that you do not have the legal name of the property lot owner on the signs? I, I, yes, I agree with that. But you're still booting on those parking lots? We are. We know that we're not doing it right, but we don't care, and we're not going to stop. That is what that video tells me. Attorney Matt Weatherington is suing eight booting companies for sign violations. He also heard the co-owner of Advanced Booting Services testify the sign amendments are never enforced. We've never been cited. We've never had an issue. I've never got a complaint out of permits. If the fine print isn't accurate or is omitting something, that's still a problem. Councilman Kwanzaa Hall wrote the updated signage law. We'll sort it out. I'll make some inquiries as soon as I finish this interview to find out what is happening. If I'm going to be prosecuted, if I break the law, why not him? The booter came and released Webb's car for free moments after our interview. Right is right and wrong is wrong. That was Channel 2's Jim Strickland reporting the booting company did not comment to us, but its lawyers demanded an emergency hearing to get a gag order from the judge. The judge granted the hearing and then quickly denied the gag order.